Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I am going to make a power boosting device for power tools. Okay, so you can see here three capacitors, each of them are rated at 250 volts and 10,000 microfarad. You can see on this one, I am going to show it on this one too. Okay, yeah, you can see 250 volts DC, 10,000 microfarad and same as with this one. 250 volts at 10,000 microfarad. Okay. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the three capacitors in parallel to make a capacitor bank of value 250 volts DC at 10,000 plus 10,000 plus 10,000. That will be 30,000 microfarad at 250 volts DC. Okay, so guys, these two are the CFL inverter circuits that you saw in my previous video. In my previous video, I connected the output of these two inverters in series. But this time, I am going to need a lower voltage but a higher current value. So I will have to connect them in parallel. So guys, one more thing. These circuits use a single diode half wave rectifier. So I cannot use the complete output from these two inverter circuits. So for that reason, I'm going to use an additional bridge rectifier. Actually two of them, one for each circuit. Okay. Okay, so these two red terminals are the output high voltage output AC of this CFL circuit so I will have to connect 
now this yellow terminal and this yellow terminal are for the AC input of this rectifier so I'm going to simply connect like this Now finally connecting the overall output to this capacitor bank. Okay, so this is negative, so it will go here. Negative has been connected. Now comes the positive and it will be connected here. Yeah, so the negative and the positive have finally been connected. Now the overall output of this entire system will be available on these two clips okay and I will have to supply 12 volts DC to this circuit and get a high power boosting output on these two terminals okay so let's do that. So this is the positive terminal, so it will go here, okay so as you can see that the output of this power bank has been connected to the multimeter and as soon as I will touch this terminal to this terminal of the battery the bank will start charging and the stored charge will be shown on this multimeter which is pointing towards the 200 volts voltage mode ok so let's keep the terminals a bit apart You can see that the circuit has uh, attained 84 volts and this 84 volts is enough to at least start a drill machine and drill a hole with it okay so I'm going to do that okay so guys what I have done is I have connected the output terminals of this power bank to this drill machine and uh, one of the wires from this battery has been connected to the circuit and the other wire is still free and when I will touch it then the bank will start charging and it will show the reading over here how much this capacitor bank has charged and after it has fully charged we can use this drill machine ok so just to show that no other connections are given I will show the wiring ok so yes the capacitor bank is directly connected to this drill machine and to this multimeter and when I will touch this terminal the bank will start charging and the reading will be shown on this multimeter 
okay so let's do it and you will also hear a hissing sound that will indicate uh, that the capacitor bank is charging okay yeah you can see there a hissing sound and the voltage there is increasing like 45 46 50 53 55 58 and so on okay so let's do it till it, uh, so it is 82 volts and i've stopped the charging from there and let's check this out okay go yeah so the circuit is working okay so let's do the charging again and this time i'm going to drill a hole with this drill machine okay so this is a wooden board and i'm going to drill a hole over here okay and at present it is showing 43.1 volts which is very less to operate this drill machine so let's charge the bank Yeah, you can see that the that it easily drilled a hole through this wood. Okay, now I'm going to do one more over here, just next to it. Okay, go. Okay. Okay, so the point of this circuit was to operate a drill machine rated 220 volts with just a 12 volts battery inverter capacitor bank circuit. Okay, so this was about the drill machine. Now if you are going to change an appliance for the circuit, first what you have to do is you have to bring down the charge indicated on the multimeter to zero because the capacitor bank is still charged that's why it is showing 97 volts even though the battery is not connected to the circuit over here. So I am going to free run the drill until the voltage comes to 0 volts ok you can see that it is coming down and now I can remove the machine and plug in some other tool ok so guys the drill machine was rated at 350 watts but I am going to operate this angle grinder rated at 850 watts ok yeah 11,000 rpm 850 watts ok so the multimeter is indicating 4.5 volts and again I am going to show you the wiring that's the wire from the angle grinder it is going from there and coming directly to the circuits output and to the multimeter ok so let's charge the band ok so let's do the operation with just 100 volts ok so here is the switch yeah yeah it is operating pretty good ok so get ready guys So you must be thinking that it took me almost uh, 2 to 3 charges to cut through the snail. So this is just a concept and you can magnify the system like I am using only 220 watts inverters, 20 watts each. So together uh, they make up around 40 watts. So if we use just a single 100 watt inverter and connect it to the battery and then to the booster, then the capacitor bank will obviously charge much faster and you can cut even thicker metals with it.
and maybe even in a single capacitor bank charge. Okay, so guys, that would be all about the video. Thank you so much for watching it. Please hit like and don't forget to share and subscribe. Thank you.